exercise eight and the development of the shaft a couple of ways you can do this multiple extrudes that come out um, but the way we're going to look at it is a revolve um, now the revolve at the start is initially a little bit hard to set up but then once you have it you've got great control over the part and um, very quickly can update it um, quite easily as well you can see here uh, Julian Harding is very good there's a lot of stuff on his website that you can follow through kind of gives the steps that we're covering here I've done a video on cosmetic threading material and mass properties so you can you can see them later we'll just look at the revolve and the extrude very quickly in the SOLIDWORKS um, so we're looking at revolve um, so I didn't mean to click on that we're going to start a sketch for that and we'll do it in the front plane we always know we're going to have an axis of revolution for that revolve so I'm just going to pull that across um, and I'll make it nice along it's just going to be my centre axis we always know with a revolve we try and just do half of it because we can swing it round so we need to do the top half and if you imagine doing a section view of that so we can slice it in half and just draw the top we take it out and when we look at that ignoring the chamfers it's a lot of kind of you know rectangular shapes so that's literally what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sketching corner rectangles I'll just start on the origin I just build one up throw one up like that throw a tin one in there throw a box here one there tin one in here again I'm avoiding my snaps I just don't want to set up too many relations just yet and one like that start adding some dimensions onto it from this drawing sheet we know that the the head is 8 8 down to the 0 point which is taken in this base here so we'll put 8 there we also know that is 50 diameter so we're only taking half of that 25 in here we've got a distance of 3 reference from the 0 point so gap of 3 height of 19 which is the diameter so we've got to take the radius um, so that's going to be 19 divided by 2 and then there is going to be 3 our next one 25 and again that's from this point here 0 up to 30 it's 31 up to this edge so we've got to take away that 3 so 31 31 minus 3 gives it a distance there and we're told it's height um, let me just remember it was 25 divided by 2 ok in the gap again 31 then 34 so it's gap 3 there in three and its height fourteen to seven and the last bit it's eighty two from here to here so you gotta measure that eighty two and eighty two and then this one's height M20 so it's 10 and again there's some good notes on understanding them codes so we have that there we can go and revolve it swing it round that's our axis of revolution full 360 then we just gotta give it the box that we're adding in and we've got that there so we'll finish it off in the next video but we've got that kind of a boxy shape which looks good um, also note that my thing has been in inches the whole time you obviously will be in millimeters um, but yeah we're looking good